hey my loves you're welcome back again to the channel it's so good to have you thank you so much for clicking when you saw this video like it's super amazing to have you guys again thank you so much so in today's video we're talking about the don'ts of visiting kenya things i really i, I wish i knew before coming into kenya okay so let's ra dive right into the video. the first thing is no plastic bags are allowed into Kenya. Okay, so if you must know, Kenya has stopped all. In fact, they don't allow plastic bags in the country. You cannot buy something and be given a plastic bag. Okay, uh, yeah, it has to be like they give paper bags and uh, cloth bags. Those are the things you see uh, them use in the country. So plastic bags are not allowed. Even when you're coming in and your your bag is wrapped with plastics, you're going to remove them at the airport so please try as much as possible to avoid coming in with plastic bags and even inside the country let's say you manage to bring them inside please do not use them in the country they are trying as much as possible to go uh, plastic uh, to control the plastic waste in the country so don't be the first person to make them uh, to make the country or litter the country with your plastic so plastic bags are not allowed into the country Number two, <laughs> so for some of us who are content creators, this one is for you. Pictures and videos are not allowed in some pu public places like some malls, okay? You're not allowed to take pictures and videos. So you need to ask questions before you start shooting content all around the, uh, the city center, okay? You're taking videos in the malls and some public places, some government uh, places and all of that. They are not allowed, okay? So please do just take note of that, okay? If you're a content creator, or someone who just loves to take pictures and videos make sure you ask the right questions if they are allowed uh, or if you are allowed to take picture in that particular place or you are allowed to take videos in that particular place because normally they don't allow that so try as much as possible to be sure before you start shooting content and tomorrow you say oh nobody told me that okay i am telling you now because you're watching my video so try as much as possible to avoid that hey, okay the third thing okay on my list is the father a lot of people are always scared of walking around the cbd area okay because of some videos you must have seen online people telling you oh cbd is uh is not uh safe to walk in or safe for you to take your tripod or your videos around there are a lot of people creating content in the cbd area but it's very important for you to also be vigilant so do not be afraid but be vigilant okay so uh for content creators like myself who love to create content around Please be vigilant. So let me tell you a bit of my own story. The last time I went to Nairobi, I was super scared of sh uh, shooting content in the CBD area. And at the end of the day, I didn't get a good content to share with you guys, okay, here because uh, I was scared. <laughs> Even when my, when my friend was telling me, bring out your phone now, shoot and just hold it tight. I was like, I'm really scared, okay? But I saw I saw a lot of people on YouTube, or I've seen a lot of people on YouTube who are short content in the CBD area without something happening to them, okay? I'm not saying that uh, uh, it's heaven, no. I'm just saying that you should be careful, but at, 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 at least express yourself, okay? And one of the things, that's one of the things I've learned, okay? In fact, I learned it from my own experience that you can shoot content that people are in fact i saw where a lot of people were gathered around the cbd area shooting their content like so many people and they've not lost their properties are there people that have lost their properties their phones yes there are people that have lost their phones uh you know shooting content in the area but that doesn't mean that you cannot shoot your content be vigilant but <laughs> be vigilant but be not don't be afraid okay to do your thing okay when you have to that's okay. it now the fourth thing i want to talk about is the fact that don't just stay back in nairobi some of you just want to stay in nairobi because your head is a big city oh i want to go to nairobi i want to see the nairobi land there are other places that tourists can actually visit so many other places you can have fun and interact with people you know meet the locals directly because in nairobi there are a lot of foreigners in there and they're locals yes but that doesn't mean that you're going to get the much uh 
Kenya experience when you stay back alone in Nairobi. Try visiting other cities like Mombasa, Lamu, Malindi, Diani. There are just a, quite a number of them that you can visit, okay, and have fun. There are a lot of them. You can search on the internet for some of the things you can do in these places like Nakuru. Like just so many of them. Ask questions. Ask a lot of people where is the best places for me to visit in Kenya. If you are someone who loves the coastal region or you just love the beach life, then you want to go to the coastal region of Kenya. From Nairobi uh, by train, is I think it's about uh, five hours, okay? And the train is quite comfortable. So you want to also experience that, okay? The train ride from Nairobi to Mombasa, okay? It's just five hours. Then traveling from Mombasa to other parts like Malindi, Diani, all of those places that are just around the country, I don't think it takes a lot of time, okay? So you want to also explore all those places so I can have a better experience to share with your people when you go back to your country or wherever you're coming from and tell them, oh, I was in Kenya and I didn't just stay in Nairobi. I didn't just go to Nairobi. I, I witnessed Kenya firsthand because trust me, witnessing Kenya means you interacting with the locals in their, you know, their locations, okay? Eating the local food, I'm not saying you can't get them in Nairobi, but you're going to get a lot of them when you go outside of Nairobi. That's where you're going to meet a lot of locals and also have to enjoy the locals' food, the food from Kenya, the original, authentic food from Kenya to the locals, okay? I'm not the well garnished one, but of course, okay? And also the beach life, you're going to enjoy them in the coastal region of Kenya. That so, me to our final point, do not forget to get your ETA, okay? So before now, Kenya was doing visas uh, on arrival, but first of all, you have to apply online before you get the visa. But the name has changed from visa to ETA, so try as much as possible to get that before coming to Kenya. So if anybody is telling you that Kenya is visa free, no, it is not actually visa free. I don't know for that's for my country. It's actually not visa free. You still have to apply for some for it online, even though the money has been reduced. I think okay, the cost is kind of re reduced, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to apply online. But but the visa will be given to you at the airport when you arrive okay stay visa on arrival but you have to apply online first before you come into the country okay and also do not forget to book, book your return ticket most people make mistake of booking just one way ticket to kenya please book your return ticket if not no plane will carry you you end up you know wasting a lot of money because you have to book like uh sharp sharp almost when your flight is about to leave you have to book your return ticket okay no flight will carry you if you don't have a return ticket especially because you're not a resident of the country so you have to you need to have your return ticket especially for someone who is going for tourism try as much as possible to have a return ticket in fact any country that you're traveling to have a return ticket because that is mandatory you're going to submit them you're going to showcase them to whoever is allowing you to enter the flight that's immigration officers and all of that so try as much as possible to get your return ticket yeah guys so i'm just going to end this video here but you guys let me know other things you feel that uh other things you feel that people should get note of or know about before they visit kenya let us know in the comment section below i'll be here to interact with you and also learn from you okay thank you so much guys for watching if you have not subscribed to the channel this is the best and perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button and be part of the family okay and give this video a thumbs up as well hit on the notification bell to be the first to get notified whenever i post any video so for now guys bye and please do not mind the background noise it is from my daughter of course you guys already know so thank you so much i see you guys on my next video so for them bye guys